India has achieved another significant milestone in the field of indigenous air defense systems with the successful completion of the user evaluation trial of the Akash NG new generation missile system. The successful trials indicate that the Akash NG system is now ready for induction into the Indian Armed Forces, paving the way for its deployment with the Indian Army and the Indian Air Force in the near future. The evaluation of the same was conducted on December 23rd, meeting all preliminary services qualitative requirements, marking a major milestone in strengthening the country's indigenous air defense capabilities. So now, viewers, of course, this is some big news that we're, of course, sharing with you at this point. Now, India has achieved a significant milestone in the field of indigenous air defense systems with the successful completion of the user evaluation trial of the Akash NG missile system. I have Aditya Vadhavan joining me with more details. Aditya, what more can you tell our viewers? Well, absolutely, Vishali. Indeed, if you see the successful user evaluation trials of the Akash NG missile system mark a significant upgrade in India's air defense architecture, strengthening its ability to counter a wide range of aerial threats. The DRDO successfully completed user evaluation trials of the next generation Akash missile system. The successful user evaluation trials of the new generation Akash user system paved the way for its induction into the armed forces. And definitely, uh, you know, this will uh, definitely increase the prowess of the uh, defense forces. Uh, and definitely, the Akash NG, Akash NG missile system can act against high speed aerial threats, low altitude aerial threats, long range high altitude targets, uh, radio frequency seeker, dual pulse, solid rock, uh, rocket motor indigenous radar C2 system. You know, uh, so indeed, you know, the system demonstrated high precision against uh, diverse aerial threats, including high speed, low altitude and long range high altitude targets, according to the DRDO. So indeed, it's a very, very significant development visually, and uh, we can expect a further development regarding this. Aditya, tell us a little more about the missile system. Is it made in India? Is it made in another country? What more information do you have? Well, absolutely, they're indigenously, indigenously made, uh, you know, missile systems and definitely, uh, you know, during the trials, the missiles successfully intercepted aerial targets at different ranges and altitudes, including the near boundary, low altitude and long range high altitude scenarios. Uh, you know, uh, they are equipped with an indigenous RF speaker and propelled by a solid rocket motor is a potent system for ensuring air defense against different types of aerial threats. Uh, you know, the Ministry of Defense in a post on X said the DRDO successfully completed user evaluation trials of the next gen Akash missile system, paving the way for its induction into the Indian Armed Forces. The system demonstrated high precision against the diverse aerial threats, including high speed, low altitude, and long range high altitude targets. Uh, you know, I mean, definitely equipped with the indigenous RF speaker, dual pulse, solid rocket motor, and fully homegrown radars and CP systems. Akash NG marks a major boost to India's air defense capability. Aditya, what are the qualitative requirements that are needed before a missile system can be inducted? Equipment uh, like the Akash missile system, Brahmos and Akash Seed air defense control system have bolstered India's reputation both regionally and internationally, according to our uh, defense minister. And indeed, you know, uh, it is, uh, you know, as per after, you know, completing the successful trials, uh, you know, that have been done by the DRDO, definitely since it is an indigenous, indigenously uh, made, uh, uh, you know, the defense missile All right, system. I have uh, Group Captain Dr. V. N. Jha, former Joint Director of DRDO, and former Indian Air Force officer joining me on the broadcast. Uh, I'd like to welcome you, sir, and I'd like to begin by asking you, of course, India has achieved a big milestone in the field of indigenous air systems with the successful completion of the user evaluation trial of the Akash NG missile system. What would you like to say? Well, Akash air defense system has been a, a fairly well-tried uh, arsenal with India. We have seen, we have seen the very, very uh, 
uh, efficient uh, example of it giving operation sindur and you know in these systems air defense systems there are always value additions which keeps on going uh, so with the value additions going on in the akash air defense system uh, you can expect many thing more and the akash air system uh, is one thing which is very very you know precise it intercepts uh, uh, all types of uh, aerial threats be it drone drone of course are too small for the akash system to take on but there itself in the akash system itself uh, i believe there is a thought process going on of having a modular type of uh, 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 the 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 propulsion system in which it can take a small target it can take a medium target and it can take as well as a big target like missiles coming up there so that is the precision uh, akash air defense system has got presently the akash air system which we have uh, already have uh, in, inducted in the indian air force is the one which takes on to the aerial threats in form of the fighter aircraft or helicopters or any of those threats but it also has capability to knock down incoming missiles enemy missiles so there on in the coming days we will see those value additions like i mentioned to you the modular type of it uh it's vertical strike capability that also will con uh, continue increasing right now we have got 30 kilometers of the range 30 to 40 kilometers of the range that will keep on increasing and uh, uh when pm modi had talked of the sudarshan chakra air defense system, sort of uh, complete air defense uh, system in that sudarshan chakra akash is likely to have very very big role because today we have got many of the air defense system that we can be very proud of for example we have got prithvi air defense system prithvi mark 1 is the one which is uh, air defense system and uh, prithvi air defense system uh, a complete system complete package of uh, uh, safety is in form of the pradyum which can take incoming ballistic missiles up to the altitude of about 160 to 180 km above the surface of the earth so that is the uh, uh, pradyum air defense system then we have got uh, another advanced air defense system Th that is another one which can take the targets up to about 80 kilometers 60 to 80 kilometers and then we have, we have got akash air defense system so while we continue integrating all everything together it is not a single system today india is going to have that complete totally uh, you know all aspects of the air defense whether it is the uh, small targets of uh, uh, incoming aerial threats that we, that is the drones it is going to be aircraft helicopters or ballistic missiles or the cruise missiles coming up there so it is gearing up uh, when you know today that the akash air defense system is going uh, has been uh, successfully tried yesterday there are many more things which uh, possibly will not uh, come to the media what is going to be tested along with this uh, but yes this value additions will continue happening in the coming days you will see much more of the integrated type of uh, um, you know trials going on we have got the d4 system wherein drone detection system and destruction that is going to be there you are going to see the dew directed energy weapon that is going to be integrated with this so it's all out uh, you know the complete package of the air defense system that will be not only the uh, you know target specific so i have like to interrupt you because we're short of time but thank you so much for joining me on the broadcast